Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst, Adam Karlberg. Today we're gonna to be having a look at the price of gold. So gold is one that we've watched pretty closely in recent times. And as we've seen, um, the price had, you know, it's had two pretty aggressive peaks before selling off. Um, and as, this is just our long-term look at the chart over the weekly. We can see we've obviously got this top at about 2080 and we've got this bottom of the range, or we had the bottom of the range at about 1680. Um, and since then, we've actually fallen below that and also been testing this 200-day um, moving average, which we've discussed previously. So we can see our RSI is going right down, although we haven't yet reached this, uh, this real low that we had in um, about mid-2018. So this is really our uh, weekly chart. Um, this is our long-term setup. Now, as we look a little bit closer at the daily chart, what we notice is that, and as we've stated previously, sorry, we'll just go back one moment to this weekly. And we can see that we're in a pretty, a pretty significant downward trend. So just bear with me. We've got this parallel channel here. And once again, we failed to break out a couple of weeks ago, sold really significantly down, and now we are testing the bottom of this level, of this resistance here, or rather support. So this is where we're, where we're at at the moment on that long-term chart. So let's just remember that. Let's change this color. Now, as we have a look at the daily chart, one thing we uh, can tell is that we were able to actually we bounced off the 50 day moving average multiple times. So we've done this almost three times now, once, twice, three times. And again, we're testing these lows. So the question is, well, why is gold falling again? Well, what, what's caused this sell off? You know, we had a pretty significant um, buying period up towards the uh, earlier, you know, earlier this month, and then we've just sold, 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 sold. And this has largely been due to the increasing bond yields in the states, which often work, um, or as we can see in this trend, have gone in reverse to the price of gold. Now, it doesn't always work like that. It's not always perfectly correlated. Um, and I'll just change this to the daily so we get a little bit better look, um, although the, roughly the same thing. So yeah, you can see that we've really been quite um, inversely correlated to this. So as the yields go higher, the price of gold has gone lower and the price of the te on the 10 year or the yield rather spiked recently. And this caused this extra, this further selling of the, um, caused the selling of the, <coughs> caused the selling of the gold price. So now our next point is, well, what kind of trading opportunities do we have? Well, our first kind of resistance level that we can find if we were able to break through this low is at 15.42. And that's a pretty significant level. As we can see, we've got a lot of chop there. Um, and this was really our last, um, last level of resistance that we broke through um, prior to COVID. The next step is 14.60 uh, or so. So these are our next two targets. And let's just remember as we can see on this channel, we do have the potential to zigzag around a little bit and move up, which does create some pretty good um, entries and exits for us. The one thing I will say is, and this is going back to that weekly chart, is let's just be weary that we are sitting on that 200-week um, moving average, which is quite a very important significant level in that meet, and that long-term mean. But it doesn't mean that we can't go lower. So. Guys, keep an eye out on those yields, keep an eye out on the gold price. Let's see if we can break through um, this level at 16, um, and $1610, $1,610 US dollars, and start away and move back down towards the lows at $1,460 or $1,460. There you go, guys. A potential one to keep an eye on is the price of gold. Thanks for watching and good luck trading.